What's up everyone, back for another beer review, and today is Wednesday, which of course means it's time for another West York Wednesday here on the channel. And the beer I'm reviewing today once again comes from the Southern Tier Brewing Company, and they are headquartered in Lakewood, New York, and this is their Nitro Thick Mint, and this is a part of the Blackwater series. So they're calling this one an Imperial Milk Stout, and underneath it says L with natural flavors, and those natural flavors, according to their website, are chocolate and peppermint. Comes in at 10% alcohol by volume, 50 IBUs at the time of review. I don't know exactly how old this can is, but it does have a Best Buy date of March 1st of 2023, and I believe that Southern Tier gives a year on these. So this was probably canned on March 1st of 2022, which makes this, if that is the case, just under three and a half months old as I'm reviewing it right now. So full disclosure, I've had this beer before, but not specifically this beer. I've had their Thick Mint. So before they put it in a nitro can, it was a part of their uh, Blackwater series and it was just um, this beer, but without nitro. And uh, I don't remember if they called it Imperial Milk Stout or just Imperial Stout. I don't remember if there was lactose involved, uh, but it tasted like a Girl Scout cookie, uh, the Thin Mint, um, in beer form. Um, it was pretty good. I enjoyed it. I think I gave it like a four out of five on Untapped. So when I saw the nitro version, I was like, you know what? I really like their nitro beers. I pretty much enjoyed all of them. So I imagine this is gonna be good too, but the only problem with a lot of these uh, mint beers are sometimes the mint can be heavy handed and kind of ruin the beer for me personally. So hopefully this has a nice balance between the chocolate, the mint and the base beer. Anyway, give it a hard pour like we do all of the nitro beers on the channel using the left hand glass because they are the kings of nitro beers as far as I'm concerned here in America. Although a lot of their fruit beers, their fruit, uh, their fruit nitro beers, not for me, not for me. Anyway, so. Yeah, so give the heavy pour. They have the uh, the cascading effect there. This has more of a um, deep dark brown as opposed to pitch black uh, as it cascades up. What you're seeing probably color here is a little bit lighter than what I'm actually seeing in the glass. You're gonna see pitch black down here, but um, it's definitely not pitch black. It has like slight ruby, ruby red tinges here, but more of like a lighter brown. So yeah, that cascaded into about uh, about almost a two finger of this mocha, super creamy mocha uh, colored head, which you kind of expect from uh, these nitro beers and yeah let's get a dose <laughs> holy shit wow that smells like a thin mint so what i typically do i don't know anybody else out there when it comes to uh thin mints from girl scout cookies I, whenever they sell them each year i buy usually one box of the thin mints and some of the others my favorite are samoas um those are the they're just they're delicious i love the coconut so you, you know if you follow the channel you know like them but the uh these I'll put in to the freezer and that's how I consume them right out of freezer, freezer. And that's when I rip open the package, get them out of the freezer, that's what this smells like. Yeah, it's chocolate. It's it's chocolate, it's mint. And it has almost like this, this cookie-esque kind of like, kind of feel to the nose. There's a little bit of like a, a beer essence underneath like a roasted malt, almost a little bit of coffee. But it's like sweet dark chocolate with peppermint, and a little bit like a cookie crumble type of thing going on in the nose. It doesn't smell crazy sweet, but definitely smells desserty, which most of these beers in their Nitro uh, Blackwater series are. Yeah, wow, that smells really good. So I don't remember the uh, non-Nitro version being uh, as great aroma-wise, but it smells awesome. Let's get into it. Cheers, everyone. So I mentioned this almost in every single Nitro beer review because not everybody watches all my videos. Like if you're somebody who subs this channel, I'm sure you don't watch every video. So when I do a Nitro review, a lot of times I make it a point to say, hey, for me, Nitro beers, what they add with the uh, mouthfeel kind of lacks in the body, but also uh, in terms of the intensity of the flavors, it usually subdued, a little bit muted. And that's what's going on here. So body on this one, If it's only that's ten percent, it's a little bit thin. It's more like higher side and medium body. It's a little bit of a slight water kind of profile in there, like a water. I don't want to say it's it's watery per se, but it's definitely slightly watered down. So I would like to see this more lower side of full into like medium full, right? Ten percent. So a little bit of a watery body, slightly. Um, the mouthfeel though, it's soft, smooth, and creamy. It's fucking. It's it's what nitro does. A lot of people say it's flat, but like that's what you. It, Yes, it taste, has like a flat taste to it, but it's so creamy that I don't care. So, certainly for a big imperial style. That's where I have issues with like a fruit beer that like um, 
uh, left hand does. It's just like, I feel like those should be carbonated. This, I'm fine with not being carbonated. You know, uh, normally carbonated and using nitro instead. The taste, right at the forefront, everything I got in the nose, uh, chocolate, peppermint, a little bit of like a sweeter, like a cookie crumble thing. That hits me right at the front of the palate, but it's again, dialed back from the nose, probably about 25 to 30%. As it continues through, actually middle of the palate, I get a little bit of like a roasted uh, kind of coffee bitterness, and that carries on in the back of the palate. This actually finishes with a mild to moderate bitterness. Um, slightly dry, but more mild to moderately bitter. This is probably the least sweet of the Nitro Beer um, Blackwater series from uh, from Southern Tier. Like, it's really good uh, as, as far as like the balance goes. Because even though these cans are 12... Um, 12 fluid ounces. They're really 9.6 because of the nitro in there. Um, Sadiq, I know a good friend of mine, a viewer of the channel. I know he's upset about those. That's why I pretty much doesn't buy these anymore. But like a lot of these, you get that. And okay, it's 9.6 fluid ounces. I probably only want three or four of some of those beers because they're so sweet. This, I'll have no problems drinking the rest of this. Like this is not overly sweet, which I appreciate. I think I like this a little bit better than the non-nitro version because I think the nitro adds that creamy kind of context uh, and, and just texture uh, on the palate that I enjoy more for a style like this. Um, I think the nose was phenomenal, tastes a little bit muted, but I like the balance of it. It's not amazing. It's nowhere near some of like the creme brulee and the s'mores and the hot cocoa. And they've had whatever, I've reviewed like five or six of them. And those have all been crazy sweet dessert pastry uh stouts in nitro cans and i like them more uh, even though i'm only drinking three or four ounces or half a can of that because they're sweet i think they've kind of nailed what they go for more of this i think they've nailed this but i also think this is just if i'm drinking a 10 percent beer i think i want a little bit more flavor here does that make sense i hope it does um i don't know it's really good i don't know as i'm drinking them i'm enjoying it more and more so i had one rating kind of in my mind I think I'm going to go a little bit higher, though. So I'm going to give the Nitro Thick Mint part of the Blackwater series from Southern Tier. I'm going to give this... I was going to give this a high 4 to 5. I was going to go 4.1. But I think I'm going to bump this in the low 4.25 range. So I'm going to give this beer a um, low 4.25. 4.15 out of 5. I think that's a fair score for this. It's really good. If you've had this one before, let me know what you think about it. Uh, price point availability. This is where Southern Tier is kind of different. Here in the Western New York area, I'm only about an hour and a half away from the brewery. Um, typically, stuff shows up here. These beers are like 15, uh, 14, 15 bucks. I think these are typically like 14.99 a four pack, right? Some people uh, that I've heard in uh, Pittsburgh, uh, in Pennsylvania in general, even in you know, states further, they're like, oh, those are like 17, 18, almost 20 bucks a four pack. If that's the case, that's a bit pricey, especially for only 9.6 fluid ounce cans. But if you can get this under 15, 16 bucks a four pack, like, yeah, I think that's a good price point. Otherwise, probably would stay away from them um, just because of the fact that, you know, it's not, bang for buck is probably not worth it unless you really love them. Uh, availability, wherever you see Southern Tears uh, Nitro beers uh, within, within the Blackwater series, you probably should see this one. Uh, again, this was released, I think, uh, mid to late March. Uh, I picked this one up. It was super fresh. Of course, I got to it three and a half months later because my channel is on hiatus for almost two months. But... I, if you see this on the shelf, they say they're good until March of next year. Pick it up. If you like Girl, uh, Girl Scout Thin Mint cookies, there is no way I think you hate this beer. If you like those cookies, like you should enjoy this to some degree. Um, 10, oh, 10%. That's another thing. High the alcohol extremely well. No booziness on the palate. Maybe a little bit of warming in the chest. Man, are these really 10%? I have no idea. But yeah, so 4.15, I think I could probably even want a little higher, but... Yeah, I really like it. So again, post in comment section if you've had this one before. If you have, what did you think about it? Um, also, if you've had other beers within their Blackwater series, what is your favorite? I'd love to know. So appreciate everybody stopping by for another West New York Wednesday. Check back next week for another installment. And until then, cheers.